Now, what do these inflation and growth conditions mean for monetary policy? That is the question and I would like to answer that. The developments relating to growth and inflation are unfolding as per our expectations. When the, when, <coughs> when the projected GDP growth of 7.2% for 2024-25 materializes, it will be the fourth consecutive year of growth at or above 7%. Headline CPI continues to be on a disinflationary trajectory. Monetary policy has played an important role in this process. This is evident from the decline in headline inflation by 2.3 percentage points between the first quarter of 22-23 and the fourth quarter of 23-24. Supply side developments and government measures have also contributed to this moderation of headline inflation. Repeated food price shocks, however, slowed down the overall disinflation process. According to our projections, the second quarter of 2024-25 is likely to see some correction in headline inflation. But this is likely to be one-off on account of favorable base effects and may reverse in the third quarter. If you look at the projections we have given, uh, then it becomes very clear that in the second quarter, the headline inflation is likely to come down to about 3.8% and thereafter again it goes up. Uh, and we have given the numbers in the statement and I have already read it out earlier. Uh, uh, at the current juncture, therefore, the uncertainties related to food price outlook warrant close monitoring, especially their spillover risks to headline inflation. In parallel, the behavior of the core component also needs to be watched carefully. We need a descent, to inf we need a descent of inflation to 4% target on a durable basis while supporting growth. Now there is a view that in matters of monetary policy, the Reserve Bank is guided by the principle of follow the Fed. I would like to un unambiguously state that while we do keep a watch on the while we do keep a watch on whether clouds are building up or clearing out in the distant horizon, we play the game according to the local weather and pitch conditions. In other words, while we do consider the impact of monetary policy in advanced economies on Indian markets, our actions are primarily dependent and primarily determined by the domestic growth inflation conditions and the outlook. I have said this uh, several times earlier, but it becomes necessary to restate the position and retrade this so that there is clarity in the mind of market participants and other stakeholders and uh, as a result of which uh, uh, they do not board the wrong bus. Liquidity and financial conditions, that is the next part which I would like to highlight.